Hi, sorry about that. My uh, camera cut off on me, but this is part two to show the continuation. So this is how far I've gotten with the beaded paracord. So now I've stitched all the black and I'm going to st stitch um, the white now. So I'm going to do a couple black here to finish this off. And then I'm going to show you how I continue with the same cord to the white beads. So this is going to be a little bit tricky because it's not really comfortable in the angle I'm sitting to tape this. But hopefully the better I get, the better my equipment will get later on to do these tutorials a lot better for you guys so here we go once again I just guesstimated on how many beads I put on each string because it varies as you go it's never the right number amount so I just eyeball it and then once I come here I do my My tightening and then I noticed that okay this one is perfect so I picked up just enough and then now I'm gonna loop around here and go underneath this last one and it can get kind of tricky to get it to go through so you kind of have to play with it because I do my cords pretty tight when I make the original weave. So here we go. I got it through. Then again, so I just keep pulling. Every time I go through one hole, I just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. Making sure the, the, the one before it is tighter. Because that, that's the whole key of getting it to stay in place and also to for it to turn out nice and neat and then here we go this is the last black beads I'm going to put through and I'll show you how I loop the string around to start the white and basically you go from there it's repetitive over and over and you just have to be careful not to rush it, just take your time um, to get it right. And sometimes I love doing these type of things with my son since he's crafty himself and it, it helps uh, you bond, it helps you um, get creative because then kids come up with crazy ideas that makes you think and say, hmm, I might just try that. And this is how I came up with this, because my son is the one who actually said, Mommy, can I use that cord with glow-in-the-dark string with beads added? And I was like, hmm, how come I didn't think of that? Not a bad idea. And so that's how that came about for me to do these. I thought about it. I have a lot of loose seed beads that I haven't finished projects with well I have finished projects but the beads are just kind of sitting in these as you can see these are loose beads with different colors and so I'm like what am I going to do with these I don't want to sit there and separate all these little beads so now I can do so many different things with them without having to waste my time into separating them so here we go this is my last black and as you can see they're nice and tight and snug and so far I'm liking how this is turning out so I pull this one and then what I do is I take the wire now and because I can't put this back into the same hole it'll just come out I need to come out this way um, so what I'll do is loop this around go under this this piece right here and tuck it underneath and 
come out on this side here. through just have to be patient like I said and then hmm. okay so this is where a tool will come in where you will pull the string out a little bit so that's what I'll do. So I'll take this right here and just kind of pull this up and then go back and see if this works now. And it hasn't yet. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Ah, it's wasting so much time. Or the impatient part comes in where I take the needle, put it through the loop. And usually it's just this edge that gives me a problem. And then get the needle out, take it out. There you go. I could have saved myself a lot of seconds there if I originally did this to begin with. So here we go. Now go back and tighten it. You see how this came from here to here. So now I'm going to loosen this up. And which is going to loosen this. And now I'm going to push this back here. And then push this back here too. And start pulling. So here we go. Okay, much better. And then now is where I start with the white beads. And so I take the white beads. And after this one, basically, you get the idea. And again, you can check out the final result on my page on Facebook and that's uh, N-U-S-U-N New Sun Designs that's New Sun Designs and I will post pictures on this final result and hopefully you guys like it and I'll keep working on more tutorials and as I go on it gets better and that's my goal. I know I like my second tutorial better than my first. And hopefully I like this third one better than my second. So as you can see here, I'm not really liking the way it's coming out. What I'm trying to go for is this cat eye effect. You see how it's just, this is in the corner right there. And this is in the corner, the green. The red comes out, excuse me, the red comes out, and then the green kind of snugs in the corner right there. And that's what I'm trying to go for, that cat, cat eye, eyelash effect. So what I'll do is, I'll take, so when I pull this, I notice, I can probably take out one. So I'll take one bead out. And then go back and this is where it's very tricky because you're now looping to go with the other color to go back up and you, these will get loose and as you can see this this black right here is loose so I'm going to tighten it again and make sure the next ones are tight and what I basically do is I just push it I just push them to make it tighter 
and then I hold on with this finger, I hold on to that bead so it stays in place and then I come and pull and push. And this is a project you really want to take your time with and don't rush. And so once I do that, I kind of tuck it in and pull it. As you can see, I pull it here and then go back take the I hold it with my finger I take the string again come up this way and hopefully this time doesn't give me as hard time as the other one come up this way apologize it's a little zoomed in my next videos will be a lot better as I perfect it as I go on. This is giving me a little bit of hard time. Okay, let's see. So anyway, okay, there we go. We got it. And so now I still hold on to it. I haven't let go yet. So I pull and I make sure that it's not in the way of anything, that it's nice and snug. And then basically, here we go. And I got that cat eye effect right here where the black is going all the way down and then the white curves and comes in an angle right there. And that's how you get that effect. And again, like I said, that bump is where I want this to tuck into. It'll even look even better. And so I'll continue this and post the final result on my page. Please uh, support me. Check it out. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I perfect my tutorials as I go. So I'll continue this off camera and then show you guys the final result on my page. And... I see you guys next time with my next tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye-bye.